Bernie Sanders is proving once again why he is the GOAT in all of leftist politics because tomorrow he will be going to support striking workers at Kellogg's. He tweeted out, Kellogg's workers made the company billions during a pandemic by working 12-hour shifts, some for more than 100 days in a row. But Kellogg's is now choosing corporate greed over the workers they once called heroes. On Friday, I'm going to Michigan to stand with the workers. And I've got to hand it to Bernie Sanders. That graphic is absolutely priceless it, it's it's just perfect um so yeah bernie sanders doing this is really important uh joe biden to his credit has also spoken out against what kellogg's is doing and that's that's something that matters but nothing is as powerful as actually going there and standing in solidarity with workers you know shoulder to shoulder with them that's that's really important so let me tell you what joe biden said quote permanently replacing striking workers is an existential attack on the union and its members jobs and livelihoods i have long opposed permanent striker replacements and i strongly support legislation that would ban that practice biden said on friday in a statement referring to the protecting the right to organize pro act such action undermines the critical role collective bargaining plays in providing workers a voice and the opportunity to improve their lives while contributing fully to their employer's success biden continued Unions built the middle class of this country. My unyielding support for unions includes support for collective bargaining, and I will aggressively defend both. So look, that's a great statement. Credit where it's due. If Joe Biden was really serious about supporting unionization, then he would go further than just calling for the PRO Act to be passed. He would actually fight the people in his own party who are standing in its way. But I don't want to get too much into that argument. I do want to give him credit where it's due. But Bernie Sanders gets all the credit for actually going there and standing shoulder to shoulder with Kellogg's workers. Now, if you haven't been following the story, what Kellogg's is doing to its employees is incredibly gross, but it's very predictable. As Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains, last week, Kellogg's confirmed that it plans to replace the cereal plant workers still on strike in Michigan, Nebraska, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee after a majority of the employees voted to reject the latest contract proposal negotiated by company management and the bakery, confectionery, tobacco workers, and Grain Millers International Union. The union has accused Kellogg's Kellogg Company's management of threatening to send jobs to Mexico in retaliation for the strike, an allegation the company denies. The members have spoken. The strike continues, Anthony Shelton, international president of the BCTGM, said in a statement following the contract vote. The international union will continue to provide full support to our striking Kellogg's members. Yeah, very predictable. So here's what we can do. Uh, the number one thing that I would encourage you to do is not cross the picket line. That means you boycott all Kellogg's products until their workers get what they want. Now, I did not know how many brands Kellogg's owns, but I'm going to put the graphic back up on the screen. For those of you who missed it the other day when we talked about this, they own Pop-Tarts, Ego, Cheez-Its, Nutri-Grain, Morningstar, Keebler Cookies, and of course, Corn Flakes, Frosted Flakes, all of that. So do not purchase these products. We have to send a message to these companies that what they do to their employees, that's something that we pay attention to. If they mistreat their workers, then we're going to notice and we are going to make our voices heard with our wallets. Now, generally, I'm not against or I'm not in support of boycotts because under capitalism, there's no ethical consumption. I mean, regardless of what company you purchase products from, it's going to be made from either slave wages in a different country or by abused workers. But one thing that we can do is be selective in who we buy from if there is a major labor dispute. So in instances like this where you see Kellogg's workers striking, that's one small thing that you can do. Avoid purchasing their products, at least until this is resolved. So yeah, kudos to Bernie Sanders again for going there. Um, You know, this is something that he has continued to do throughout his career. He has continuously walked the walk, and I wish that more politicians would take cues from him, because if we had more than just one senator who consistently stood with workers as they go on strike and protest, well, the country might be in a better place today.